Storm Tracker 7 weather is presented by Panhandle Cleaning and Restoration. Good Wednesday evening to you, Storm Tracker 7 Chief Meteorologist Jeff Booth here. We had a really nice one out there today. We had a lot of sunshine, a couple of high clouds rolled in, but all in all, pretty nice. It was very warm too. Uh, walking around town earlier today, I was happy to put on a pair of shorts and just kind of enjoy some of the sun, get some of that vitamin D, if you will. 73 in Steubenville, 74 in Wheeling. We are in the low in the mid 70s across the area. Very nice, actually. Everybody's clocking in in the 70s right now, and we are very warm. We've been warm yesterday. We were warm today. We'll be warm tomorrow, and you can thank our south southwesterly flow. Basically, when you get the winds and they have that southerly bend to them, they bring in warmer air, and then when they have the normally bend, they bring in cooler air. But right now, we are dealing with that warmer weather, and our wind speeds are you know anywhere from 7 to about 11 miles an hour across the area for most of us, so just some moderate winds outside. But another thing that the south southwesterly winds are doing, they're bringing and also some moisture from the southwest. Earlier in the week, the air was exceptionally dry. Right now, not so much. I mean, it, those dew points have come up a little bit. And we're not talking about summertime dew points, but still, the moisture levels in the air have come up a little bit, so it's a little more comfortable out there as well at night. You don't have that crispness to the air as much either. Here's a look at your satellite and your radar imagery for the area. You can see a few passing clouds. But look at that, some clearing out upstream of us. And as we widen out and take a look at the bigger picture, yeah, we're going to be dealing with clear to partly cloudy skies over the next couple of hours. And into the overnight, we'll be mainly clear to partly cloudy with a few more clouds rolling in late. And we are looking at another very warm one tomorrow because we are going to continue to see those winds coming out of the southwest. And in fact, some of the areas uh, are going to be easily 20 to 25 degrees above average in this area and this darker purple. Well, this is where we could see some record high temperatures, and yes, we are in that. So that Halloween heat up, it looks like it's going to be with us. And as we take a look at the, the next weather maker that's rolling through here, some spooky showers are possible by the end of the day on Halloween. I think really better chance on Friday morning, but by the time we hit the morning hours, the next weather maker well off to the northwest of us. A front's going to be approaching, making its way into the Buckeye State as we get into the mid afternoon time frame, and then it looks like it's going to be affecting us late in the day if not even into early Friday. We do have the chance for some showers on Halloween, but right now it's not looking like it'll be till probably after about eight or nine o'clock, but there's a better chance for rain overnight while we sleep early on Friday morning. And this front's gonna knock down temperatures as well. We'll be talking about highs that are actually back into the upper 50s and low 60s on both Friday and Saturday. Pollen levels that we're gonna be up a little bit tomorrow with that warm weather, but they'll get knocked down once we get that cold front to come through here. Here's a look at your Storm Tracker 7 predictor. Not a lot happening as we head through the evening hours. You can see 10 o'clock, mainly clear skies. Uh, as we head towards daybreak, we start to see a few more clouds. Those clouds are going to really thicken up throughout the second half of the day. But notice we're dry. Here's 5 o'clock. Some kids going out trick-or-treating. Should be okay. We stop the clock at 10. Again, maybe a spotty shower, but really a better chance for that rain as we get into the overnight hours into Friday morning. So I do think that uh, you'll have to keep an eye to the sky. Tune back tomorrow. We're going to have updates on the forecast. But right now it's looking like the... the uh, the rain should hold off till after trick or treating is done. I mean, maybe in the far west, you might see a couple of showers by the end of trick or treating, but most of us here in town, I think we should be okay. 81 tomorrow, that'd be a record. 62 on Friday with some early showers. We're clearing out, getting some sun by the end of the day. Should be nice for the football games. 62 with some frost early on Saturday. We're falling back on Sunday. Could see a late day shower or two. 76 on Monday. Election day, we're looking at the chance for a few afternoon showers with a high of 77. A few more showers and 68 on Wednesday.